still they're saying that you're faster than they are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> they can't keep up with us. Right. Hey, well, we're going up. We're here, gonna go up, up here. Up to that building. Oh. The balcony. Okay. And I'm following you. They'll, uh, they'll allow you to. Okay. Fantastic. People take note, 88 years old, this is the secret. 88 years old, he's walking ahead of me, I can't even keep up. Yeah. Phil, talk about a great view up here. Yeah. This is fantastic. So how old would this building be well, where this, we're at now? This building wouldn't be five, six years after the earthquake. Oh, so okay. The, all of Chinatown is rebuilt after the earthquake. So. But it's been in this location since at least 1860. A lot of these are residences. Yeah. But in the past, would these have been different stores or would they always be residences? Oh, no, no. They're basically residences, except for this one building here. Right, this is an this exception. This being uh, a association building, which you will see a lot of. Okay. The, you know, all these buildings, if you look at it, it's typically a kind of commercial-like building. Right. There's nothing oriental about the whole thing. Yeah, nothing. You, you look at that one, what's oriental on, on it? They just stick a little roof <laughs> right. on top of, right. of a regular commercial building right. and gives you the illusion it's Chinese architecture. I got you. All right. Yeah. We've got to move on. So there's cans that you showed me the menu. Wow. Prior to this, to this was a republic restaurant called okay. the Republic. But then Ken then had his uh, beginning here, introduction of food to the mainstream. So we're talking yeah. about 60 years ago, roughly, yeah. 1950s. Well, yeah, 1951, I think he started. And Very maybe cool. further up the block, there's a few more restaurants that try to start that trend. But yes. Ken, Ken's is the one that moves. Notably. So do you think that he was the most successful? I would say so, in yeah. terms of main, attracting Main Street. Yeah, the storefront, of course, been remodeled. This is not the oldest restaurant, but it has maintained a 1920 flavor. Wow. You look at oh, the, all the very pools cool. on the inside. You look at the life fixtures there. Yes. The, all the uh, original fabric. What's so this is again time? 1920s? 1927, I think, about. Wow. The other big piece of this puzzle from a restaurant standpoint is we have to keep in mind that San Francisco is a world-renowned destination. So it's a huge touristic city. So I would think that that would affect what people do and the word when we say authenticity you know what i mean because you want to make money i mean obviously as a restaurant of course and when you're dealing with tourists authenticity is all how you present it right that, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's always a quote <laughs> it's always a quote so how much do you think you've been influenced by american cuisine or american culture oh, in your I, I would say at least 80 percent Really? Oh, yeah. So you would say 80% of Phil is American and 20% is Chinese? Yeah, might yeah. even be more. Well, I guess the place that you're born is always the strongest link, you know, especially when you well, live there your whole life, right, right? Right. When we were young, because of our isolation and rejection, yes, we would all say, we're going to go back to China. Right. Because that's where we're supposed to be. Right, we belong there. Right. Right, but then? But it's not real. <laughs> How old were you first when you went to China? Well, I actually, just right after Nixon's visit is when my first trip, because prior to that, there's an embargo. Right, we weren't right. Allowed you to weren't go. allowed to. Right. You were in your 50s the first time you visited China. Yeah. What was your biggest surprise there? Uh, that's not not surprise. I would yeah. say that uh, I was very happy that I went at that time, just before things started to change. In other words, I saw the old China. I saw what my family you know, really grew up 
the environment that they grew up in yes. before all that changed. So I got to see that. That's great. Have you been back since then? Oh, yeah. You I've have. been there for about 13 times. Okay. Yeah. So now you're a regular. It's good. Pretty much. <laughs> now, this block here yes. used to be known for its restaurant. Almost every other building. Yes. Chinese restaurant. And of course, Cantonese. And of course, Cantonese, yes. And now it's been taken over by people from different areas. Right. And so on. So you have a variety of food. But this was what no. And across the street there was this Beckett Alley. Mm -hmm. Used to be one of the oldest restaurants there. And it's still in operation, but it moved across the street. Yes. And this is one of the oldest restaurants that predates the earthquake. Wow. It survived and still running to, to this day. And it's Different in the basement. Ownership. It's in the basement. Very cool.